You don't have enough time, talent, and treasure for everything. So you have to learn how to prioritize. And you say, okay, what is it that I'm passionate about? What is it that brings to me emotional fulfillment? What is it that I'm spending time meditating and studying and, and learning? These are the issues. When I love the Lord with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength, all of a sudden he becomes the first important thing in my calendar. I give him the first part of my day. I give him the first part of my week. I give him the first part of my income and just seeking first the kingdom. All the other stuff I can sort out. Again, you've heard me plead with you about this before. Just don't let Sunday night sneak up on you. It happens. I get it. We live, we all lead busy lives. As my wife, I'm a busy, busy guy with business and community and golf and the country club and serving on the HOA board. And I'm coming and going. I don't like being at home, but I don't let Sunday night sneak up on me. I know that I have to be ready for Sunday night. And I heard one of my favorite pastors say this week that he preached a sermon and wasn't any good. Never happened to me though, right? And he's like, man, Lord, you know, what's the deal? Like, I, I just, I, it wasn't any good. And the Lord spoke to his heart. He says, son, how long does it take you to prep a sermon. He says, it takes me, you know, a couple of hours. He said, you did a great job prepping the sermon, but you didn't do a good job prepping the preacher. Bam. It hit me. I was like, you know what? I have to come for the, for Sunday nights. This is the most important appointment of my week. Let me rephrase this. The most important meeting of my week. And I have to come prepared. And that means I have to spend the time, no matter how busy I am. Now I realize I'm the pastor and I have the responsibility, but I'm telling y'all, the secret's gonna be in the surrender of this thing. You say, Lord, this is it. I love you with all my heart, all my soul, all my mind, and all my strength. And I carve out Sunday nights, not because I have to, or because it's a rule I'm following, but because I love you, Lord, more than anything else in my life.